Hello there, and welcome back to a Tuesday Talk with Hannah. This is coming to you live from my bathroom, and I am going to share a little bit about tongue scraping today. And so I am sharing a bit, you may have seen other posts, maybe in my newsletter or my blog about tongue scraping, and it's particularly helpful to do during the kapha time of year. Let me just set myself up here. Or maybe I'll just tilt this up for a minute while I'm talking and then we'll tilt it down when I'm ready to demonstrate. So the, the practice of tongue scraping is used to do many different things. And once you start tongue scraping, you will never want to not tongue scrape. You'll never go back to being a non-scraper. Um, I was actually just talking with somebody who has been working with me for a little over four years, and um, she was just saying, I can't imagine my life without tongue scraping. <laughs> so that sentiment has been echoed for a lot of folks. So the, the practice of tongue scraping is one that does a whole bunch of things. Um, let me just show you in case you're not familiar. This is my tongue scraper. It's made out of copper and um, I originally got a copper tongue scraper. So I've been using this, I don't know, for like eight years or something, um, this tongue scraper. And it's, let me hold it up here. So this is made out of copper. And I originally got a copper tongue scraper because different metals have different like energetics to them. And copper is um, warming and uh, clearing for kapha. Now, those of you that know me know that I don't have a whole lot of kapha in my constitution, but I used to have a lot of kapha imbalance that showed up as congestion in my head, specifically sinus infections. So I used to struggle with lots and lots and lots of sinus infections, a lot of mucus, a lot of excess gunk in my head. I don't have that anymore knock on wood, hallelujah, right? All of that has been cleared. You can see my hand in the mirror, that's kind of fun. Okay, so what happened was that I was in Ayurveda school and one of my teachers was like, everybody needs to start, start tongue scraping. And then they were like, you can you know, get some different types of tongue scrapers. And um, it was recommended for me because of the kapha imbalance in my head that I use a, a copper tongue scraper. So. That might sound like something that is helpful for you. In general though, I recommend using these. This is from, from Banyan. And um, so this is a stainless steel tongue scraper. And this is just kind of like a good all purpose tongue scraper um, for, for everybody. It, it's not gonna be detrimental for anybody. So you'll see that the tongue scraper is this rounded um, metal here and then it flattens out um, and creates more of an edge at the top which then is used to scrape because if you just had a rounded edge against your tongue it wouldn't scrape so well. So um, let me tell you what tongue scraping does and then I'm going to demonstrate it because this is one of the things that is interesting to me about all the Ayurveda information out there is people say scrape your tongue and then they kind of like uh, hold the tongue scraper like you're gonna scrape your tongue but nobody actually shows you what it looks like because it's a little it's like a bodily function kind of thing I guess but I'm gonna be brave today and actually scrape my tongue for you and you can see <laughs> see what that looks like and how it's done so what does tongue scraping do Tongue scraping does a whole bunch of different things. In Ayurveda, we see the digestive tract as being a snake. So the mouth and specifically the tongue is the head of the snake. And then the anus is the tail of the snake. And in between, we have all this windy, windy intestines and all sorts of things, but we can't see them, right? We're not see-through people. So what is really cool is that the tongue can really report what is going on down inside the snake. So the first thing we wanna do before we scrape the tongue is to look at the tongue and to see what we can see on the tongue. Now this comes with practice. 
of being able to read tongues. And I do have other videos where we're specifically looking at tongues and what we can read from the tongues. But basically the, the main thing we wanna look at for tongue scraping is where there's coating on the tongue. So coating on the front of the tongue signifies congestion in the, or the front third of the tongue, it's congestion in the stomach, middle third, small intestine, and back is congestion in the large intestine. So we're, we're looking at that. Then we scrape the tongue and we're scraping off the ama or undigested food stuff that comes up off the surface of the tongue. Ideally, you wanna do this first thing in the morning before you've eaten or drank anything, you want to scrape your tongue. I like to do it before I brush my teeth. So it's like the first, I usually get up, pee, scrape my tongue, brush my teeth, put in my contacts, <laughs> like the, the whole uh, sequence of events. So scraping the tongue um, will pull off the gunk that has released from the tongue overnight. If you brush your tongue instead, it pushes that gunk back down into the tongue. So we wanna pull it off and that then sends a signal down into the digestive tract. One, it sends a signal to wake up. Wake up, food is coming, right? Don't be asleep when, when other things come into the system. Actually, the first thing for me is water. So um, after scraping my tongue, brushing my teeth, all of those things, I drink um, a quart of warm water, sometimes with apple cider vinegar, sometimes with a little lemon or lime juice in it, but really flushing the system uh, first thing, but we're waking up with the tongue scraping. Another thing that it does is it sends, as we're releasing the ama off of the tongue, it sends a message further down to also release the ama. So to pull out the toxins that are in the gut so that when you drink your water, it can help remove them. So that's really exciting too. It also stimulates the, the digestion. So um, we can build a little bit of hunger. I don't eat right after I scrape my tongue. I usually wait a couple hours to eat, but we're just getting the system woken up for the day so that hunger builds. And by the time we actually eat, there's um, authentic hunger is, is actually present. So let's look at an actual tongue scraping here. So I'm gonna use my copper tongue scraper. And um, so let's see if I, let me tilt this down just a little bit here. So I'm gonna stick out my tongue. Let me stick out my, this is the funny thing, right? I can't talk and stick out my tongue at the same time. So let me stick out my tongue and just let you see what my tongue looks like right now. So this is like what most people are not willing to let you do. And you'll see some interesting things on my tongue. Okay, so some of the things that you'll see on my tongue are that um, I, well, look, look in terms of coating. Do you see I have more of a coating towards the back of my tongue? Yeah. And, um, and so that signifies a little congestion in the, in the large intestine and colon area. That's pretty par for the course for most of us that will have some congestion, um, you know, if we're eating like not super <laughs> duper clean all the time, if we've ever taken antibiotics, if there's um, any tendency towards constipation or imbalance there. So you all, a lot of you know my history. I have had most of my life constipation. Um, and so I still have some congestion in, in the colon. Not, not a big deal. The other thing you might have noticed is that I have some cracks in my tongue. Right there. And those cracks are indication of vada or dryness, specifically in the, um, you see these there? Yeah, in the stomach and, and small intestines. So there has been a history of dryness for cracks to arrive. You think about the earth when it's dry and hot, it, there's cracks that open up. So um, that's more 
uh, it's like vada, um, vada imbalance that that comes in. It's like it maybe it's not hot so much. It's like dry, right? Just like dry and rough, right? So that has happened on my tongue too. Um, and then you might have noticed around the edges, there's some shininess. See there? And that is, um, kind of shows a little irritation in my lungs. And, um, that makes sense. I had some congestion over the weekend, um, just a little like post nasal drip and kind of feeling like, um, a little like allergy stuff. Um, I've since kind of cleared that up. So, um, yeah, I think, I think that's a little kind of intro to tongue. So, um, so let's see what happens when I scrape my tongue. So, oh, we just blipped out for a second. Okay. So I'm going to scrape it and then rinse off the tongue scraper, but I'll show you what, what I take off. This is super vulnerable, right? How many of you would be willing to do this? Probably not many. <laughs> okay. So here it goes. Okay, so I'm scraping. Can you see there's this white goo on my tongue scraper? That's ama. That's that gunk that's on the tongue. And you might have noticed that I kind of scraped in different angles um, across my tongue. So I'm gonna do this again. Um, Okay, and there's my, there's my goo, right? You'll notice if you have more of a pitta imbalance, the stuff that you pull off might have a little more of a yellow tinge. Um, and you might notice if you have more of a kapha imbalance that it looks more kind of clumpy and white. Um, mine was a little more translucent and white. That's a little bit more um, of a vada, um, vada ama. <laughs> so you, you learn to learn to read that. So now my tongue feels very clean and clear and fabulous. So, um, the, the tongue scraper can just be kept in your bathroom and you can just use it, rinse it off after every every use. It is helpful to have one for each person in your household, it's kind of like toothbrushes. You don't generally share those with other people. Good to have your own tongue scraper. And especially as we're going into kapha season, which is like more of a accumulation season, you'll have a chance to see more show up on your on your tongue. And we want to um, it's a it's a tool for gentle detox is to do tongue scraping. So um, mark your calendars for the upcoming spring detox. We'll be gathering in March for that and and start this practice now of tongue scraping so that you can really um, start getting this gentle cleansing detoxifying piece going. And a side benefit is that it helps freshen your breath. Um, what was I going to, oh, I was going to add that I do find that sticking your tongue out really far while your tongue scraping often leads to gagging. So like if I was to be like, and then stick my tongue scraper back, it would be, uh, maybe have more of a tendency towards gagging. So if I just let my tongue be kind of relaxed and then scrape like I did more like that, then it's. Uh, less likelihood that you'll gag. Um, I know that's an issue for some people. What else? Tongue scraping tips. Um, just notice every day will be a little bit different as you get to look at your tongue and see what you can what you can notice. If you eat heavier food, if you eat later in the day, the day before, if you're snacking after dinner, you'll see more of a coating and you'll feel more lethargic. If you get a good night's sleep and you close your kitchen at six o'clock and you do all the things, right? You'll see less coating on your tongue. And over time, you'll be able to see things healing. Even, even cracks can heal. My cracks are better than they used to be. And, um, 
and things will report back to you from further down in the digestive tract. So I hope that it feels exciting and interesting to explore tongue scraping. I'll post the link for ordering a tongue scraper if you'd like to order one from Banyan with my affiliate. And let me know what questions you have about tongue scraping. I hope you appreciated this <laughs> visit in my bathroom. And um, I look forward to hearing about your enjoyment of tongue scraping. Be well.